Hi friends! Today we're going to do a very late June TBR takedown. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my unread physical TBR shelf down from a really high number down to a manageable number, which I think is going to be about 50 or so. At the end of May, my total was 184 books. So let's see how we did this month. As always, I will start first with my hauled books. And the first book that I hauled this month is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. This book follows Felix, who is a black, queer, trans male who has never been in love. And it is something that he is searching for in his life. He starts to find these bullying images of his old name and what his old person was and someone is bullying him and basically calling him out for being trans and he somehow ends up in like a love triangle and the book follows him kind of just discovering more about himself. The end part of this that I really loved was um, Felix Ever After is an honest and layered story about identity, falling in love, and recognizing the love you deserve. That sold the book for me. Next is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I'm a little foggy on what it's actually about but from what I gather it is about a princess whose mother has died and she needs to have the heart of a king in order to resurrect her mother from the dead and there's going to be a contest to basically win the right to be her king and there's a boy who him and his sisters run away to this town uh, for a more prosperous life and their payment for entering the town is that his youngest sister is taken away and the only way for him to get his youngest sister back is to kill the princess and so he enters the contest in order to become closer to her in order to kill her and then I'm pretty sure that they have like a forbidden love and it sounds awesome and Roseanne is just amazing to follow on social media so I wanted to support her and pick up this book. Next is As Much As I Ever Could by Brandy with Snow. Brandy is a friend of mine and I also read her previous book Meant to Be Broken which I loved so I definitely wanted to pick this one up as well. This book is also set at Adesto Beach like the other and it follows CJ who was in a car crash where her mother and her sister both died and it has made her rightfully so, happy fear of driving and being behind the wheel. And she is sent away for the summer to spend time with her grandmother while waiting for the trial to begin for the person who wrecked into her car killing her family. And she meets and starts to have an attraction with a guy who is a race car driver. And the book follows, I believe, him helping her get readjusted to life behind the wheel as well as both of them kind of growing and helping each other discover how to live through the grief that they're both suffering through. Next is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Um, I don't know what this one's about. I have bought all of Riley Sager's books so far. I've only read one but I enjoyed it. Um, this is a book of the month club book but it will be the last one that I'm purchasing for reasons. So I don't, I didn't even really read what this one was about. I just the cover was pretty and I like Riley Sager so here it is. Next is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. This is the Owlcrate exclusive edition. I don't know what month this was in the Owlcrate box for but I've seen on Owlcrate that it was available uh, just the book to purchase so I did. This book is about a girl who has the ability to take away people's memories and she is kidnapped as a child and taken to the palace and raised there to basically be a weapon for the king and the kingdom and she at some point is rescued by this group of people who are spies to overthrow the king and she gets sent on this mission to go to the palace um, to rescue the boy that she loves and in turn finds that everything is not necessarily as it seems at the palace and it uh, discovers her to finding secrets about herself while also um, trying to figure out like which memories are her memories and which are the ones that she's taken from other people. So the cover was beautiful. Again, Zoraida is amazing on social media so picked this up. And the last three books are the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. They are The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, 
and the stone sky. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this one's about either. Uh, Kate and I chose this as our AuthorTube chat book club pick for July and August, so there will be a live show discussion for this on Kate's channel probably towards the end of August, I don't know exactly when, um, but we decided to go with N.K. Jemison because Kate had been doing some research on her for her uh, most recent I Tried Writing Like video and we discovered that N.K. Jemison is the only person to ever win the Hugo Award for three consecutive books in a novel in three consecutive years. No one else has ever done that. Obviously we both were very interested in that after that um, so we decided to pick these up and to read this for the group book chat and I just decided that since I was gonna read the first one I might as well just buy a box set and get all three. So those are the eight books that we hauled. Let's get into other books. If you have been following me on social media and on other live streams and things you know that I've not been reading a lot lately. My reading has not been great so um, I had one reread this month and two reads that count and one that was an audiobook that doesn't count because it's not a book that I own so I'm going to quickly go through those. Uh, if you want to know more about those you can check out my wrap-up video at I will link in the description box below as well as in the cards for you to peruse there. They are our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland, White Fragility by Robin DeAngelo, Grave Maidens by Kelly Kuhn, and The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Our Chemical Hearts was the reread White Fragility, obviously the one that I don't own because it's one I didn't hold up, and the other two are both new books that I have read. So that's two that count, which brings us from 184 plus 8 is 192. When we add the 8, minus 2 is 190. Also, this month, in a weird turn of events, I am also unhauling four books. Um, I'm not going to share them with you. I kind of went through, there were some, some things happening since the last month, and um, there's just some people that have some views that I do not agree with, and so I have chosen to unhaul their books and not read them and not promote them and because I'm choosing not to promote them I'm not going to tell you which books they are or who the authors are but just know that there are four books that I'm taking off of my physical TBR shelves that I will no not be reading because the authors are dumpster fires. Okay so that puts us at 186 which means I'm up two books which is fine. Um, I'm just kind of going through like a phase of not wanting, I mean not that I'm not wanting to read but I'm just not reading a lot. And I mean, really with the eight books that I hauled, I mean, three were for, well, three were for the chat. So one was for the chat and then two were other parts of that series. Felix Ever After, A Song of Wraiths and Ruin, and Incendiary were all books that I um, picked up on during the Social Distance Book Fest in April and have been wanting to order. And I think I actually ordered the two that I got from bookshop.org a while ago but they were um, out of stock at the time um, so they actually just came this month but I think I actually ordered them in April um, and they may have came like late June early July but Home After Dark and as much as I ever could were new releases this month so everything is like a newer release or something that I needed for a read, -a -a read along so I feel like that's not too bad I mean do I have plenty of books to read for sure uh, am I reading right now no Am I going to get back to reading? I hope so. There's going to be an announcement video coming up very soon. Um, probably one of my next videos that I post. And uh, that will push us all forward, hopefully, to read some more books. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos on, well, usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. But lately, it's just been willy-nilly and whenever I have time. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything happening have in the future. And if you're looking for the planner content that you used to see on my channel, I do now have a separate planner channel that is always linked in the description box below as well. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!